But this former molecular biologist is a big name near Gaithersburg. We put Nathaniel's search on WUSA9.com, and friends made the connection almost right away. It's the right thing to do. You know, I mean, this ring um, made something to him. A lost ring brought full circle by our and your help. Hopefully we'll have it for the rest of my life. In Montgomery County, Pete Muntean, WUSA9. Fate does amazing, amazing things. Well, speaking of finding things, is it too late to find a date for Valentine's Day? Our Deborah Alfaron, ever the optimist, says, no, it's not too late. She's got three tips for those of you who are still on the hunt. I spent more Valentine's celebrating Galentine's, actually, but now since I've found love, I'm here to help you do the same before Valentine's Day? Yeah. Listen to this. D.C. is the number one dating capital. This is according to Time Out. That meaning two out of five people are single and looking to mingle. Two out of five. That's huge. I give nine out of ten. You give it a nine out of ten. Yeah. And I've been all over, baby. All over. <laughs> Let's tip the odds even more in your favor. Here's dating guru Jamie Bernstein. Number one, be open-minded. Get outside of your comfort zone a little bit and don't stick with, this has been my type, this is the only type of person I can see. Do you have a type? Yeah, I'd say definitely like like Latina and Middle Eastern. Tip number two. Allow yourself to be open to new experiences and new people. Um, and that also helps with your confidence, right? When you're sitting yeah. around moping and just kind of blah on the couch, like who feels good? No couches at this bar, so we call Ari and Tyler's friend Aaron at home. Tune in at 11 to check out some really great tomorrow. Tomorrow, no, tonight, tonight, oh, tonight. Oh, tonight. tonight at 11 to check out some amazing dating advice. A third thing would be say yes to a blind date or a setup. I'd be able to do a blind date right now, so let me know. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Aaron. Deborah Alfron, WUSA 9. It's a. Uh... It's a rough life if you're single and looking to mingle. It you know. is tough. I do not envy them. No, right, her producer says, nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Social media is pretty powerful. Yeah. How about right. mingling weather? Are we going to. Well, let's talk okay about the three degree guarantee because honestly, it was almost impossible last night. So if, at 11 o'clock at night, it was 58. Okay. So you're thinking, okay, well, so what we did was we went for a midnight high of 61. But somehow at 2.14 in the morning, it hit 65. That pretty much impossible to figure that one out. Uh, high temperature tomorrow, we're going to go 43. So it's kind of a reality check. Right now it's 39, dew points low 20s. So much drier air mass has moved in. Not exactly Arctic air, but it's more like winter, more like it should be. Bus stop temps, 24 to about 35. No wind chills to worry about. Just worry about those temps, mid-20s to mid-30s. Grab a coat tomorrow, treat like a, a winter's day. 38 to about uh, 43 for highs. Valentine's Day, good news, 50s. Bad news, some showers, primarily late in the day and at night. Not a washout by any means, and the temps in the 50s, that's still a, a pretty good deal. And then we could hit 70 on Thursday. The only th reason I'm not going in the 70s on Thursday, I think we're going to have some showers, and if they don't get out of here quickly, then we're not going to hit 70. But uh, some of the models are going 74, 77. We shall see. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, 20s to start. 30s downtown, 24 Gaithersburg, uh, 28 in Bethesda. And then by the time we get to 9 a.m., some clouds start to encroach, Culpeper and Fredericksburg, low 30s there, still 31 in Bowie. And then as we go through the afternoon, the clouds will roll through the metro area. We stay dry, a couple of sprinkles or sleep pellets possible west of the divide. And temperatures only 38 at, 11, at 12 o'clock, around lunchtime. By 6 p.m., we're in the low 40s and upper 30s, mostly cloudy, but we're dry. And then this time tomorrow night, we'll have a few breaks in the clouds and temperatures back in the mid 30s, maybe 37 downtown, maybe 36 uh, over in Leesburg, and maybe 34 in Gaithersburg. Take you into Valentine's Day. In the morning, anyway, we start out with sunshine, a nice southerly wind, and temperatures above freezing. That's a pretty good deal, pretty good start. Okay. Tomorrow, though, low 30s to start downtown, 36 at 11 o'clock, and then 39. Clouds start to increase uh, after lunchtime. Wednesday, some showers, 54. Can't go yellow just yet. And very warm on Thursday with some morning showers and 69. Those showers hang a little later, more in the mid-60s. If they get out of here earlier, we're going to be in the 70s. Friday, some showers roll back in. They end late, uh, 63. And then time we get into Saturday, chilly, 46. Sunday, some clouds come in late. We're looking at 53. And then on Monday, some rain and showers and temperatures around 60. So a temperature roller coaster and more ups than down. Generally back with sports right after this.